I'm a Vietnamese boy with a Russian passport and study in an American school. For some of you, this is just some normal thing that you don't talk about, but for other people who are in my situation, it is a whole different story. There's a term for what I am. It is called third culture kid. Third culture kid are terms used, uh, used for children uh, who are raised in culture other than their parents or the culture of the country given in the past uh, in the passport of the children where they are legally considered native. My situation is worsened by the fact that living in Russia and studying in an American school. So I am like the third culture kid to a second degree. But I am I find this situation normal. Uh, at home, I eat Vietnamese food at school, Russian. I watch Amer American movies and I love playing football, which is actually a British game. To a, to a lot of people, a situation like this is pretty stressful. Human, na human nature enjoys peace, stability, but my situation sounds pretty chaotic or confused. Uh, I have done some research uh, and I found out that all the psychologists and people who read this uh, who read this extensively all agree that third culture kids have a confusing and quite often debilitative condition. They are confronted with cultural woes or pitfalls at every turn. Okay, so why am I happy? I am supposed to feel uh, I am supposed to feel confused, dissatisfied, lost even. But I feel comfortable everywhere. So I asked my friend and teacher what they thought about me and what they thought of me. Maybe I thought that I was happy, but maybe for them I feel I they I seem confused. So this is the so this is the survey which you guys might have seen and voted. So, okay, the majority of the people believe that I'm the happy green guy. That means what I feel and what people per perceive me like is the same, happy. Uh, whenever you come immigrate to a new country, you will have lots of challenges to blend into the culture. So these are my six tips of how to blend into every culture. First of all, you have to learn the local language so that you can talk to the local. The reason why I mentioned follow the etiquette because, uh, for example, in South Korea, when you greet someone, you don't uh, say what's up bro and stuff, but you have to bow in order to show some respect. Or in Chile, when you greet someone, you have to kiss them on the cheek twice. You have to talk to the locals so that you can make friends with them and they will show you more about the country. Uh, you need to experience the local cuisine. Sometimes the local foods are bad and you can't eat them, but sometimes it can be super delicious and you might even fall in love with some of the dishes. You have to visit the cultural hotspot, so the cultural hotspot to know more about the beauty of the country and its history. And finally, the most important thing if you are living in an Asian country is that don't be cheated out of money. Because <laughs> whenever you come to any country, you have to, if you want to buy souvenirs for your friends or families or even, your, or, or even for yourself. So they would sell you the souvenirs with a very high prices. So learn to bargain before you come to any Asian country. Mm. If you follow this principle, you uh, know you know how to enjoy wherever you are. To tell you the truth, I have I didn't know what a third culture kid was until I prepared this TED talk. Now I know what it is and I'm very happy to be a part of it because it's a third culture kid is something very special and I like to be special. Thank you for your attention.